and Jiga. This is a much more straightforward piece of music than the African dance. Just to make sure that you join over every bar in the right hand, whether the finger's coming over or whether it's a neck, it's a sideways move. Keep it all very legato. Okay, that was one thing that I picked up. Um, what's the other thing? So you're doing one, lines one and two hands together. Um, and then it was just practicing these two bars, particularly um, with the ornament, which is called a mordant. I need to know the name of it. So if I go just from the bar before, I've got A, I'm starting on in the right hand. Go over to the F sharp, then G, F sharp, G. Three, two, three. Okay. If I look at the, the last line, because you're going to go on to the last two lines, I'm going to play from the D with the second finger. And the ornament is C, B, C. Three, two, three. So same fingering, same pattern, except there's no black key in that ornament. There's no sharp or flat written with it. Okay, as it fits with the other hand, the two semiquavers go with the first note in the left hand. And then the third note that you play, sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three, goes with the second quaver note in the left hand. Just jumping to the last line, the last bar will be the same. So one, two, three. Okay. Well, that was the other thing, wasn't it? In the left hand, this um, note's going down the keyboard. You're sometimes hitting a wrong note. The two and the four fingers, you need to keep them quite close together. They're only one note in between those two fingers. And the tendency, because you're stretching the rest of the hand, is to stretch the whole hand. But the middle part of your hand, you need to keep it all sort of very tight, contained, so you don't overstretch those notes. The left hand in the last bar is the same pattern, but going from C, G, E, and C, all right? It forms an exercise called an arpeggio, which you learn when you do grade two. The left hand is always more difficult to learn because of those two fingers, especially that fourth finger. Either people want to use a third finger, which I wouldn't say, don't you do that, or they overstretch the hand. So by keeping those two fingers close together, it helps to avoid that mistake. Okay. And then if you go on to the last two lines, they're not really difficult. I'll play from bar nine. It's all very legato. Just make sure that the rests are in the right places. And then onto the last line. Rest. Third finger. And rest. Now move the three to F towards the end of the left hand. 